Here we go. Showcase. Xbox Showcase, guys. Xbox Showcase. Let's get it. <clears throat> Super pumped. Especially for some Halo. Here we go. I would love to see Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to the Xbox. I know, I know you guys knew that was gonna happen at some point, but yeah, that would be great. All right, what we got first? Space, it's out of space. They're gonna start off with Halo? They're gonna start us off with Halo? That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. What the fuck's happening right now? The Mjolnir exits. Yep, Mjolnir. Yep, definitely Halo. Damn, starting us off with Halo. Let's go. Oh shit. <clears throat> Even though this technology. Gotta silence my phone now. My shit's gonna be blowing up already now. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. Armor cannot hope. One one seven, baby. It all means nothing. Until you step inside. Damn. Start demo. There's going to be a demo. Ah, oh, yes. When and how? Am I dead already? I, I must be. I mean, when and how? Right? 167 days after we lost. Yep, this is death. No. Oh shit! No. No, 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 no. God damn! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on. Shit. Guys, I'm gonna have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, Chief. What are you doing, Chief? She's she's fine. No, get, no. you can't stand this. Can you breathe? No, you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. We're. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe. Who the fuck is this guy? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. Damn, the banished. I know I saw Cornwall. Man, dude, their fucking stream is terrible right now. through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, away from here are away like their stream is fucking lagging up like crazy oh, fuck let me find what the fuck when I get back we can look together okay big guy I am sorry for the quality guys like fuck really the stream is gonna be terrible man look at that 
That just brings you back to Halo 1 days right there. Fuck, I love that classic look. Oh man, I love that classic look. That's fucking beautiful. Holy shit. And maybe it's just me, but the way the mountains look kind of remind me of Minecraft, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, the way it's all fucking blocked up like that. And open world Halo, dude. This is fucking nuts. I mean, it's still gonna be linear, most likely, but they have like a world map and like, oh, this is where I need to go type deal. That's new. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, they vanished. Oh man, damn, they're using fucking troops like goddamn ODST. Holy fuck. That's some orbital drop shock troopers there. Alright, interesting bubble shield. Oh shit! We got grappling hooks? Let's go. What the fuck? This Halo is gonna be so good already, I can tell. Look at that. Fucking gorgeous. Wow. I'm mind blown about this right now. Wow. Ooh, that is definitely a new game. God damn, they catapulted his little ass. Get over there. A bunch of new guys. Pulse carbine. Ravager. Is that a mauler? They bring the mauler back? Oh. Please tell me they brought the mauler back. They did. That is definitely a mauler. You can use the environment? That's fucking cool as shit. Oh yeah. Oh, 
We are one step ahead. Always. The rain is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. Fucking Atriarchs. Without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. This is my last fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die. Damn. The banished are not fucking around. Holy fuck. I have no idea who that guy was. I know who Atriax is. I have no idea who that guy was. That looked fucking gorgeous. Like, seriously, that looked really fucking good. We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm incredibly proud of the team at 343. And we're thrilled to share a hint of the epic battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom to explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Bigger battles, epic vistas, more complex visual effects displayed with 10 times the processing power per pixel of Halo 5. This will yeah. be running at a flawless 60 frames per second and will allow us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the coming month, including the first look at multiplayer. And now please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. Damn. World premiere. Wow. That was that was good. I like the classic Halo One look and feel. I'm super pumped about that. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on. We'll give a little bit of a thought on the certain ones that stuck out to me the most after uh, the, the the showcase. She ain't fucking around. Survival. This stream's lag is so bad. So bad. I'm not trying to sound negative, but fuck. This is rough. And I know it's not my internet. Fucking my shit's working fine. What the fuck? I mean, I knew it was a zombie game. I knew for sure it was a zombie game. But fuck. State of Decay 3. Damn. That looked good. Never played a State of Decay, but it looked good. I wouldn't mind me a more newer. I, I mean, welcome everyone. I wouldn't to mind the me Xbox newer fucking uh, zombie Today, game. Today, we're showing games from nine of our fifteen multiplayer. Xbox game like studios, including unveils of five new first-party games. What you will see today Fuck, is how get Xbox Game Studios are harnessing I their passions to bring for... their dreams to life. <clears throat> we believe that how you find and play your games is as important as the device you play them on. Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play. 
and we want you to be able to experience as many great games as possible. So Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today from your subscription or free to play. These games will look and play best on Xbox Series X, delivering unmatched fidelity, performance, precision, and immersion. And we've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. And we've built state-of-the-art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. And they're early in development on the next Forza Motorsport. And Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream of unprecedented realism with ray tracing and native 4K resolution all at 60 frames per second. The trailer you're about to see was captured completely in engine. World premiere. World premiere. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, that means that I can focus on spending all my money on a system and not have to worry about buying the fucking games because I get them all for free. So, I'm okay with that. I want to spend money on Xbox and spend money on Halo. So Xbox's showcase is all the Microsoft made games then. If we're gonna get it for free here in the game pass. I like racing games, I've just never been like a big fan of like these kind of racing games, I don't know why. They're fun to play like when you go to like an arcade but at home. Like growing up I was bigger into Need for Speed and shit like that versus like Forza and all that other fun stuff. Good games, nothing wrong. <gasps> Rare Entertainment? Oh, yes! What do you got for me? A new Conker's Bad for a day. It won't be. That was the best game ever. I mean, love the banjo. Has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. It is found in the smallest moments. In every step of a perilous journey. In the symmetry of ritual. In the bonds we share. And in moments of stillness, it teaches us to look beyond the expected. To be a light in dark places. To seek answers. And to stand watch over our world. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. Don't know if it's for me, but Everwild will give to you a magical and untamed natural world for you to explore and to just truly lose yourself in. It's a place to be eternal. And eternal has the gift to sense and feel how magic flows through nature it's ever living. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild. 
and I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want another Conquest, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Oh, uh, fuck. You see what I'm seeing? Mom. Allison? Yeah. It doesn't matter that they don't believe us. We all believe that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth feels impossible. <clears throat> We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. Hmm. I thought coming here would be closing a chat lives. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Stop! Chapter one, so kind of a telltale game, huh? It's interesting. Telltale series, not a Telltale game. I guess episodic. I don't know if Telltale is the correct word to use since hey, they're not everyone. technically a, a My name series. is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. Today, we are very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically mm. for Xbox Series X. We are now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already gorgeous game like Ori can now run at 120 hertz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, super crisp sharp image, and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel of this game. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces in our world by using premium audio tech that we previously just could not simulate in real time. And with all of this crazy hardware power, we can give our players more options with how they want to play our game. We can't wait for all of you to experience this very special version of Ori coming to Xbox Series X with smart delivery later this year. Hmm. You know, I've never played Ori, but I might. I might pick it up. I might pick it up. Private division. I don't know what it is. From the furthest reaches of the universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. An abandoned research facility, and now shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon asteroid. A sordid stopover. Full of salacious secrets. And scandalous. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking right <laughs> on today. With a right face, the they wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. Or sword. Or this thing. Is this that, that space game that was supposed to be kind of like Thrills. Fallout? Danger. 
I can't remember the name of it was. Intrigue. A word of advice before you go, Captain? Trust no one. I never got a chance to play it, I was going to. And that would be a great time with the new system. Bro, the lag is killing me. Out of world, yep. If you're waiting for the biggest game of the year, then wait for Cyberpunk. <laughs> but if you're ready for the smallest, we've got you covered. Is this a final game? City and Entertainment, the makers of games that are nothing like this one. This summer, strive together to thrive together. Or just feed your friend to the spiders and go solo. What? Oh, this lag. Dude, their stream is so bad. Oh my god, I will never choose this stream again. Oh, that's Battlefield. Grounded. Oh, I am playing the fuck out of that july 28th that's coming out like soon at obsidian Some... we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games it's something we do every day when we come to the office and we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure parallel gorgon it's the first of two planned story expansion packs for the outer worlds that we're putting together with our friends from the private division now it's also important that we continue to evolve how we tell stories and games and grounded is the perfect example of that the team has been working for the last two years on how to tell an Obsidian story within a survival game. Now what's great is that you're going to be able to play the game on July 28th on Xbox Game Preview and on Steam Early Access. We want to hear from you and we want to continue to build, build, build grounded together. Oh yeah, if you've been wondering, we have working on that next RPG. Check this out. World Premiere. RPG? You speak in my language, Obsidian. RPG? We have always known war. Dude, I need to start looking into Obsidian a little bit. Holy shit. They don't fuck around. Like, oh, everybody's showing up with their one game. How cute. DLC. New preview game that you'll be able to fucking play early. And we also got a fucking RPG. And decimated our foes. I mean, that was one hell of a fucking arrow shot. That's now all I'm our oaths are lost, forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Our sins have borne. An oath worth the weight of a crown. Avowed? I'm playing the fuck out of that. Avowed. That's happening. That's 100% happening. I need a fucking. I need something to make a list. <laughs> fuck me. Ugh. Avowed is an expansive first-person RPG set in the fantasy world of Eora. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this epic game is the one they want to make. As creators of critically acclaimed RPGs, this is Obsidian at their best, and it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X. At Xbox Game Studios, we also work with independent developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Let's meet 
Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. Bonjour, I'm Caroline from Interior Night. Our team is really passionate about active storytelling because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. You get to experience their fears, their hopes, their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate of real, flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. I hope you enjoy the trailer. World premiere. A lot of good shit out so far. I'm really impressed with this so far. Fortune, fortune, got three games for sure on my fucking thing. Much of late. I need you now. Cannot wait. Don't wanna look. You're not around. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. For our family, it was just a stopover. <clears throat> for mine, it was the end of the road. Now. The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret buried in the dark. All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. As dusk falls. Looked interesting. Here at Ninja Theory, we're hard at work on all of our projects, including Senua Saga Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced <coughs> Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. We're excited to start giving you an insight I actually didn't play Hellblade, but I wouldn't mind Counter it. Warrior, an experience that we'll be building in Unreal Engine 5 for Xbox Series X and PC. I'm happy to reveal today that Senua's saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary, which you can view straight after the show on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. It's been so touching to see the impact that Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice has had on so many players and we're incredibly thankful to all of the fans that have been part of Senua's story so far. And we're excited for you to be part of our development journey from here on out. Huh. And never played Hellblade. I mean, I, not that I would, I definitely would. I know that. Double fine. I know that. You want to say hi to Peter? He's on the line what? here. Peter? Peter's what? Peter's been sitting there the whole time? Hey, who wrote the song? Uh, yeah. Peter. Oh, Peter. Fantastic work. Love the song. Very much. It's going to be fun to sing it. Now it's time to, to rock. Shall we start rocking? <coughs> Jack Black. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. Damn. Fucking psycho knots, right? Where are we? 
we? Shh. It's a quiet place. Lost alone. Neither skin nor bone. Just a thought is all I've got. Now my cover's blown. At the bottom of a lake. I like Jack Black singing. A frozen feeling. Tenacious D is the shit. When my friends pulled me back up, <clears throat> I started. Psycho Nuts too. Damn. Dude, I love the look of that Xbox. I love it. A lot we of people have issues. I love it. We can't wait to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios, and there is just so much more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers, to bring you the broadest variety of games ever. There is one developer in particular that is close to us, not just geographically, but in history too. I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass. If you are one nice. of more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also Game get Pass. access to all current Destiny 2 expansions starting this September. For Game Pass Ultimate members, Destiny 2 will also be playable on mobile from the cloud. Later this year, Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Here's an all new look at Bungie's Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Yeah, but it's not gonna be better than my computer. Oh, I've seen man. terrible things born out in the dark. We haven't raided in fucking two weekends, Every dude. Ah, oh, it's getting to me. Closer. Wanna raid? It's time to step beyond the light. Ooh. It's a new element. What? Oh, Tony is going to lose his shit. Tony is such a fucking ice fan. Oh my god, Tony's gonna lose his fucking mind. Tony's gonna lose his shit. We about to text Tony right now. This is Destiny 2 that you can play any way you want thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Some of the world's most inspired developers are working on games for Xbox Series X and we're just honored to be able to collaborate with them. 
Xbox Series X will empower both new and experienced creators to bring the future of games to life like never before. Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, and fresh voices that demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. All of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. World Premiere. Damn, time's flying. Holy shit. We got 20 minutes left. Whew. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I, I can't control that. Nothing I can do about it. What the fuck is this? I feel like this is like a Metroid game or something. I don't know why, I just... Stalker 2. I never played the first one. Stalker, huh? Looks interesting. World Once premiere. again, free. That's, that's a big selling point right there. That's what that guy said at the beginning of the video, right? Like, all this is going to be able to be able to be played on the pass. That's what that means. Free. If you own the pass. Which is not free. It's 14 bucks ish, I think. I don't know. Something around there. Not what we got. My Lord Inquisitor, I've reached a term of prime and begun our investigations. Our recon squad has been sent that to sure? level six of the hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. I'll know more when they make it back. Oh my god. I don't think it's when they make it back. Oh, that dude's got a fucking chainsaw sword. Let's go, dude. Warhammer. Dark Tide. Huh. That looks interesting as well. I'd play the fuck out of that. That looks interesting. That's another good one. Warhammer, Stalker 2 was a good one. World premiere. Fucking Xbox brings everybody together. What? They just showed us that we're gonna see a fucking new Tetris game? No way. I mean, that's what it looks like. No, I just think this is just a... 
No? Wow. Bringing back Tetris. How long has it fucking been? Wow, I am mind blown by this right now. Holy shit. World premiere. Approaching orbit. Scan's a no-go. Sure you wanna drop here? Oh yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. What we got? Another good-for-nothing space rock? Whoa. Hold on, let me check. This game looks interesting. Find anything good? Vex, you're not gonna believe this. Got kind of like a, a Pikmin feel to it, in my opinion. Ashenier type feel to it as well. A gunk. Hmm. That one's interesting. I'll be taking a look into that one too. Cut myself off, but the voices they just wouldn't stop calling out to me. It all starts with a dead girl. The forest, the moon, scented pines, and then the gunshot. Every story has two sides. Hmm. A regular, rational one. But also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I'm liking this right now. I can see both. Like the scary mystery Once solvers. I can lift them. This is like a silent hill. This is making me think it's like a silent hill. The fuck? Hello? Anyone there? Two worlds rendered simultaneously? What the fuck? I am so interested. Oh my god, I'm interested as fuck in this game. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 This is on a list. I know what this is yet. It's on a list. It's on a list. That is on the fucking list. World. That is on the list. 100%. Like, that's probably like one of the games I've been piped, pumped about the most so far. Ooh, we got Sega though. Uh oh. What Sega got for us? A new Sonic game that's actually good.
Uh, looks like some kind of... I mean, maybe that's what the title was, the ESO or the fuck that was, I don't know. The hell is this? Fantasy Star Online or whatever? Possible. It's an ESO or FSO at the beginning, I don't even see. Star Online, New Genesis. I don't know how much I feel about that one. Did make a list, that's for sure. But who knows? Luis Torres, I've seen your future. Global risk is get off the weapon. Chose me to save this world. And I will see it done. Blacklist, we make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? Interesting, but today you saw 10 world premieres and 22 console launch exclusives. Game Pass members can play every game you have seen today from Say Xbox again. Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Sea of Thieves. You'll Ooh. get the next-gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play. Hmm. And you are at the center of everything we do. Now, you may have noticed we didn't get to visit all of our Xbox Game Studios today. That means we'll have more to share later this year. But until then, here's one more thing. Ooh. World premiere. One more. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? The world is filled with stories of legendary heroes. Is it a fable? Treacherous villain. Oh, tell me it's a fable. Oh, tell me it's a fucking fable. Mystical creatures and 
wondrous places where nature and magic live in perfect harmony. Oh, please tell me it's a fable. Oh, shit. I did not see that coming. All stories have happy endings. <laughs> but yours has yes! Ah, oh, it's another fable. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Yes. Ah, oh, another fable. And they're ending it going back to 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 fucking Oh, okay, they're just going over a thing. Oh man, another fucking fable. That right there. It just fucking blew my goddamn mind. Oh my god, another fable. Whew. Okay. So, there there was a lot for us to to really dive in here. Um Stay to K3 that looked really good too. There's a lot of us, or there's a lot for us to dive into. Um, I think right now I'm just gonna kind of touch up what my list is, and then later on tonight we are recording a podcast because I'm releasing this as soon as I get done watching it. Uh, later on tonight we're we're releasing a podcast or recording a podcast, and during that lag, during that I will. Uh, I'll have the team, whoever's on, we'll, we'll kind of just go over, you know, some of the games and stuff like that and talk about them. Holy shit. Man. A new fucking fable. Oh. There's so many good fucking, oh, there's so many good ones. There's so many good ones. I like the new look. I love it. I like it. Holy shit. Okay. I had to get myself together a tad bit. We're going to go ahead and end it here. Um, so, my list. What I'm excited about. What I saw. What I was pumped for. Uh, obviously, Halo Infinite. I mean, huge Halo fan. Have been since the start. That's where I started my Xbox journey was Halo 1. Always going to be a Halo fan. Excited for the new one to come out. I still play that with my family all the fucking time. Grounded. I love survival games. I love games where you build bases. The fact that we're shrunken kids fighting off insects looks fucking awesome. The fact that they were using like insect fucking skins and shit to make armor and stuff looks so fucking cool. Super pumped for that one. Uh, I played a lot of survival games with James, as you guys know. Uh, you've seen some of them on here, so hopefully that's one that me and him can look forward to. Um, Avowed. I love, love, love medieval RPGs. That one looked really fucking good. Uh, Warhammer Dark Tide looked really good as far as like a nice little four person group uh, scary run through game um, with zombies. I, I, I'm super pumped about that. Stalker 2 made the list. It looked interesting. I don't know if it's actually going to stay on the list, but it made the list. Another one that I put on there Tetris. I mean, come on. It's fucking Tetris. We're getting the return of Tetris. Like, come on. Uh, the Gunk. The Gunk looked really good. I actually enjoyed just kind of a lot about that game. So I'm super excited for the Gunk. Hello Neighbor 2 wasn't actually during the main show, but it was right before, and I'm kind of pumped for that. I actually like the Hello Neighbor series. I'd actually like to go through and actually play them a little bit more, and actually, if there isn't in, beat them uh, before you know I get to this one. Um, the Medium. The Medium blew my fucking mind. I so want to fucking play that. And then on top of that, um, we had Fable. Fucking Fable. Finally. Another Fable. So pumped, so excited. I love Fable. Fable's such a good fucking game series. Super big fan of Fable. Um, but yeah, so that's my list. I'll dive into it tonight on the podcast. We'll kind of go into that so that way we can talk about that a little bit and you guys can get it uh, there. So if you're watching this, that podcast will be on Monday when I get more of an expansive talk about, you know, the games, what my biggest, you know, basically what's hardcore on my list and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun, so make sure you tune into that if you want to hear my thoughts on each one a little bit more open. But until then, I will catch you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so that way you can get notified every time we upload another video, especially that podcast. And um, yeah, hit me in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite game of the fucking show was. Let me know what you're most excited to see. Uh, maybe there's something that didn't show that you were hoping that would show. I mean, there's, there's man, dude, we, we, we got a lot. I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty, in case you can't tell, I'm pretty fucking excited right now. So there was, there was a lot in there. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. We'll see you next time.